Hello, hello, and welcome to my How to Snake It video, where I'll be showing you an easy way to achieve effect, which you can see in my lovely sneaky snake eating metal ball video. Link in description. The first step is to nick sneaky snake toy from your kids, take some rubbish pictures and model it. But as you can download the model for free from my website, link in description, I'll jump over this step to don't waste your time. So let's jump into Blender and start with step number two. So first of all, press Shift A and add a cylinder. Rotate it on the Y axis and scale it on the X axis. Just to get into some troubles later on. Scale it a bit more and now press Shift A and add the bezel curve. Scale it as well for fun. Go to edit mode and let's make it straight. So select this right point in my case and rotate it by it should be 45 degrees. So press R45 and enter. Now press A to select all and subdivide it. Let's go for about three subdivisions. Make sure everything is selected. Go to select, checker deselect. This will deselect every second point or maybe better to say vertex. And now with these two vertices selected, press GY and move it slightly to create nice path for snag movements. Select this first point and make it straight with the path. The handle should be in line with the path. Switch to object mode, select the cylinder or I will call it a very easy looking snake. Press Ctrl R and add some loops. In this case about 27. Back to object mode, modifiers and add the curve modifier. As curve object select the Bezier curve. Let's have a look from the other side. And now with snake selected, if I will press G and X, snake will follow the path. Very nice looking and so easy to do it. The next step is to add a UV sphere. So press Shift A, Mesh and UV sphere. Let's scale it a bit as well. With the UV sphere or ball selected, go to modifiers and add the curve modifier as well. Select exactly the same curve. We've got only one anyway. Select the snake, go to modifiers and add shrink wrap modifier. As target, select sphere. Mm, not really what we want, is it? But don't worry. Let's go for some settings. First of all, let's select wrap method to project. And we can leave snaps mode on surface. If I will change the offset value, you can see that it's not working the way we want to. As we scaled every object, we need to apply scale. So go to object, apply and scale. I will do the same to the ball. Let's select the snake again and try to change the value. Maybe add some subdivision surface by pressing Ctrl 1 or you can add modifier subdivision surface. It's still not what we want, so let's go for some changes. Shade it smooth, change the offset value, and we still got some problems, so let's scale the ball, apply the scale, We can add solidify modifier. There is still a bit of problem. We can select the ball and add subdivision surface or try to change the value in shrink wrap. Now it's slightly covered, maybe scale the ball a bit for now. Yeah, it's, it's working. We applied scale 
for the ball and for the snake, but don't do it to the path because look at this mess. So let's go back by pressing Ctrl Z. So select the snake, go to edit mode and let's adjust it a bit and give him a little mouth. Maybe he will tell us something. You never know. Press 1 on numpad, shift Z to switch to wireframe, go to face selection, press C and scroll it to make it smaller and select some faces to delete. So press X and faces. I forgot to delete the front part, so go to solid mode, select this front face and delete it. And we've got very easy snake mount. Go to object mode, select the ball, move it slightly and let's have a look if it's gonna work. And as you can see it's already working very nice. So maybe let's create some animation. Press G and X to move the ball again. Let's go down and drag this timeline to see it better. Make sure you've got ball selected. Press I and select location. Go to about frame 80 or something. Press GX. Move it somewhere to the end of the path. Press I and select location again. Now go to the start and press spacebar. And animation is working great. Maybe make it a bit longer, so select this keyframe and move it. Let's move it to the end, for example. If I will play the animation now, you can see the ball is moving slowly and nice. So let's select the snake, GX, to the start of animation. Press I, location again, and this will add another keyframe. Move it somewhere to the middle where snake will stop and wait for the ball. For example, here, move the snake. Press I, location. And now snake will wait for the ball, eat it and <coughs> it. As the ball is out of snake now, with the snake selected, press I again and location. And now the snake can move away. So go to last frame, select the snake, G, X, and move it away. Press I, location. Let's go to the start and see whole animation. Snake is moving, ball is moving, snake will wait for the ball, eat it, <coughs> it and disappear. It's working nicely. Now what we can do is bit adjustments. Let's make some movements of snake mouth. Go to edit mode and we will open snake mouth. So let's select bottom part of the snake. Make sure you are in face selection. Press B for box selection. Select faces and hide them. Hidden faces are not going to be affected with our changes. So go to Object Data Properties, Object Mode, select the snake, add the basic shape key with plus. To open the mouth, go and press plus, set value to 1 for full effect, go to Edit Mode. Edge selection, press Alt and click to any front part, press G and move it. Actually press right click to cancel it, first press O for proportional editing, and now press G and scroll your mouse to affect as many faces as you want and move it up. Select maybe second loop with Alt A and move it again. This looks better, maybe third one a bit. Alt, left click, move it up, okay. 
So now if I will go to object mode and change this value in shape keys, you can see like snake is opening his mouth. So now let's move to the frame where you want the snake to wait for the ball. Click to this symbol to add keyframe. Move animation slightly further. Maybe even more, where snake should have his mouth open. Open his mouth and add another keyframe. And again, move animation to part where you want snake to have closed mouth. Add another keyframe. And it's working great. Ball is coming, snake will open his mouth. We can still see some issues, but we can always adjust the shape of the snake. For example, let's make it here. Add another shape key, set value to one. Go to edit mode, select one face. Press G and move it up just for fun. And now, as I'm changing this value, you can see that the formation is there or is gone. And we can set any part of the snake. So let's add other keyframes for a bit fun. Set animation till about here. In my case, it's frame 135 value to 1, add keyframe, move it a bit backwards, value to 0, add other keyframe, and now as I'm moving you can see shape is changing. So it's very easy to adjust any part of the snake body. And if you want you can even change scale of the ball. So for example, in this position, it's the scale as it is. Move it forward, scale the ball, make it smaller, press I, scale to add another keyframe and the ball is changing the size. If you want to make it even smaller, it's actually the same because I forgot to add scale keyframe. Maybe make a bit of fun, so let's go to the end, maybe add keyframe, go to this previous keyframe, scale the ball down. This time don't forget to add keyframe. And as you can see, ball is getting smaller and bigger again. So let's go to position where we want our camera view. Press Ctrl, Alt and 0 to set camera to this position. You can click and select the camera and press G and move it. If you want to zoom it in, just press G and scroll and you can zoom it in and out. Let's play animation. Snake is coming, waiting, eat the ball. And you can see shape is changing, scale of the ball is changing. Again, snake, ball, shape, everything is working. We can adjust camera as we want. And let's play it last time maybe. Ball it's coming. Nice. We can see a little issue at about the middle of the snake, but we can still adjust the shape on that position. Or even Go to modifiers, 
maybe change the offset value it's not changing so uh, but what we can do is go select the ball and scale it or there is other option and go to solidify modifier if you'll find it and just change thickness to hide the ball so you can basically play with all values change solidify modifier change size of the snake of the ball change shape keys or anything you want so let's play it last time as it's so lovely nice so you can download the model as i said you can find a link in the description and you can set your own animation change snake head shape or whatever you want you can even add teeth to the snake but that's pretty useless because as you can see snake eats metal balls so he will break his teeth anyway so it's not the point to make him thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a fun